Uh, hello, everybody. This is Mr. Walsh coming at you with talking about moles. Um, I wanted to define what moles were and go over some mole conversions so that we can prepare ourselves to use the ideal gas law. Um, so let's get started with that. The uh, moles are the number of molecules in a sample of matter, but um, we don't count the molecules like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have specialized ways. A mole is actually equal to 6.02, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd things, whether that thing is a donut or pennies or grains of sand or corn kernels or sweet potatoes or um, atoms. It doesn't matter what they are, but that's how many thing how many things are in a mole. Okay, the symbol for moles is N, which doesn't make a lot of sense until you think that what this is is really just a number. So it's a number of moles. Okay, that's that's really what um, we're getting at here. So, and the unit for moles is creatively called the mole. And in order to convert between moles and what we measure in the lab, grams, we have to use the molar mass. So um, this skill is addressed in a different video, but let's go on and talk about um, how to do some conversions here. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna convert uh, these two uh, moles, we, might, we have 32.6 grams of sodium chloride. Okay, if we have that many grams of sodium chloride, we should be able to um, convert that to moles. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my calculator, and what I know is I have to calculate the molar mass. So for sodium, I have one atom of sodium in that, and sodium weighs about 23 uh, grams and then chlorine I have one atom of chlorine in there and chlorine weighs 30 um, 35.45 okay now the molar mass of that as I bring up my calculator that would be 23 plus 35.45 and so that molar mass is 58 58.45 Four, five, and I think the units is the most important because that's what's going to um, be your guide through these problems. And that's 58.45 grams per mole for every one mole. Okay. Now, I apologize that this is in scientific mode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mode and I'm going to put it just in normal mode. Okay, and now if I redo that, you'll see that 58.45. Okay, so now we can take this, and that acts as our conversion factor. Because what we know, and I'll write this up here, is that that's 58.45 grams equals one mole. Okay, so if we have this, if we have something with two units in it, now we can do our conversion, and we get 32.6 grams, and we set up an X line. Okay, that's not my saying that's uh, my colleague next door I stole it from her and will use it for the rest of my life <coughs> excuse me and then we do grams moles we want to get rid of grams now we have moles and so for every one mole the mass is 58.45 grams and so now we do 32.6 divided by 58.45 <clears throat> and we get that that is 0 0.558 moles, M-O, <laughs> M-O-L. Okay, good. Okay. And so now we're given moles, and we want to convert that to grams. Okay. Well, again, we need the molar mass. So we have carbon. There are six carbons, and each carbon weighs about 12. Okay, we have hydrogen. Hydrogen, there are 12 hydrogens, and each one of those weighs about one. And there are six oxygens, and each one of those weighs about 16. Okay, so when we take those and we add those up, we get um, 
6 times 12 plus, 12 times 1 is 12, plus 6 times 16, and when we get that, we get 100, 180. And again, the units are the most important part here, grams per mole. Okay, now we can take this and we can go 0 0.593 moles, and we can X line, and we want moles on the bottom, grams on the top. And we want to say for every one mole, this weighs 180 grams. And now we can do the math. 0 0.9, 0 0.593 times 180. And we do that and we get 100, uh, 107 grams of C6H12O6. Okay. And so that's our answer. Okay. Up here, if you wanted to say moles of NACL, that would be awesome too. Okay. So that's um, what a mole is, and that's its conversion um, and how to convert so that we can get ready to do the ideal gas law. Have a great day.